by Jacob Bogage Jacob Bogage National Sports Writer and Blogger Email bio follow September 13 at 11.50 a.m. Kelly Brownson Gil Talbot Dartmouth Athletics for the Washington Post, Callie Brownson was nearly through a two-week preseason internship with the Dartmouth football team when the Big Greens wide receivers went to coach Betty Tevens with a proposal. Dartmouth had an opening for an offensive assistant coach. The players wanted Brownson to fill it, making her college football's first female full-time Division I coach. It's the latest peak in Brownson's football career, in which she's become an accidental trailblazer for women in football's highest ranks. She interned in the New York Jets scouting department in the summer of 2017. She's attended national invitation-only football skills and coaching camps. She's considered one of women's professional football's all-time greats. Her role at Dartmouth formerly as an offensive quality control assistant, is just the start, she said. This is only the beginning of women on the sideline, she said. Sure, it's an honor, but to me, it's not a trophy. It's something that should have happened a long time ago. And lucky for me, coach Betty Tevens believes the same thing. Brownson grew up in Alexandria, Virginia, a football fan from a young age. Some of her first sports memories are watching Southeastern Conference college football on Saturday afternoons with her dad. Finally one day when she was old enough, she told him she wanted to play too, so he signed her up for the local peewee team, where she played running back and defensive back. But as she got older, football opportunities for girls fizzled out. Coaches at Mount Vernon High School, where she played softball too, would he consider allowing a woman on the roster? It was a taboo subject back then, she said. The school didn't even want to approach it. But as soon as she started college at George Mason, she tried out for the D.C. Divas of the Professional Women's Football Alliance and made the team as a wide receiver and utility player. Franchise owner Paul Hamlin called her a Swiss Army knife of football. She took classes and coached the Mount Vernon softball team on the side until the high school's new football coach asked if she'd consider joining his staff. It wasn't that I hadn't thought about coaching, she said. It just wasn't a possibility back then. She worked with the team's wide receivers and started attending coaching clinics and skills workshops, telling everyone she met, I'm really, really motivated to continue a career in football. She left then rejoined the Mount Vernon football program after a coaching change and helped the majors develop into one of the Washington area's most explosive offenses. More and more football higher-ups from around the country noticed and kept running into her at events. She's a really good coach, current majors head coach Monty Fritz told anyone who asked about her. Like a really good coach, USA Football invited her to the 2018 Manning Passing Academy, an annual summer quarterbacking summit run by Archie, Peyton, and Eli Manning. Stevens, from Dartmouth, was one of the first coaches she met. Two weeks later, he called and offered her an internship. Two weeks after that, he hired her full-time. I've heard a lot about the institution and the reputation Dartmouth has for being innovative and forward-thinking, Brownson said. I get to experience it for myself. She is a coach who happens to be a female as opposed to a woman who is trying to coach, Tevin said in a statement announcing her hire. That distinction became very apparent to my players and coaches. We've hired a coach who will better our football program.
As a quality control assistant, Brownson will assist other coaches in scouting opponents, planning practices and team operations. She is not allowed to directly instruct players in on-field practices due to NCAA rules that restrict the number of